welcome back guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can use tabnang ai assistant in visual studio code so to do this you have to actually install visual studio code in your pc so i already have the visual studio code here you can see so just double click on it and open it and then go for the extension here and search here tab 9 and here you can see the first one just go install it here we go we have successfully installed it now we have actually we have to click here okay tab 9 just click here and then now you have to actually sign in so open so let's just go with the github okay so i have already logged in in my github account here you can see we just have to actually log in with github and here we go we have successfully signed in okay now go to your id command palette and type and paste the token so let's copy the token okay so we have to go there and we have to press ctrl plus shift plus p and then type here tab 9 okay uh, what i have to type tab 9 right so ctrl shift p tab 9 sign in okay and this is the so click here in the first option click here and now click here sign in and now we have to actually paste the code we have actually copy from here right now hit enter here we go and you are currently logged in as Tanbir Ahmed so you are logged in right now let just go for the code let's i want to create here a new file create a login for login piece okay with username and field so paste tab it will complete the whole line for you and now you will find something like this And now go for the next line. There you go. Press tab to complete it. And then go to the new line. Press tab. Okay. To complete it. So basically, it should be inside body, right? Or what? Yeah, okay. And now let's go to the new line. And here we go. It's done. Now let's say I want to check the live preview. So if you want to check here the live preview, what you have to do, you have to actually go to the extension and from here you have to install live preview. So here we go. Just click here install and it will be installed. After that, you will find here this option. Now click here and here we go. We have the login form, right? Here you can see. Now let's go at the top and let's remove this. Okay. Here we go. Now we got the login form, right? So guys, that's it. This is how actually you can use Tab 9 AI Assistant in Visual Studio Code. 